Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video, I am going to cover intro questions on SAS Macro. So let's start. Okay, if you want to learn SAS, then you can contact me directly on my email address or you can WhatsApp me for more details. Let's move on to the next slide and the first question. What are the various ways to create macro variables in SAS? So guys, this is very common question and I think everybody knows this, but just to start, uh, here are the answers. We can create macro variables using below methods. So there are seven ways we can create. There may be other ways also, but sevens are enough to answer this question. So first is percent let statement. Second is percent global statement. This is used to create global macro variables. Third is percent local statement. This is used to create local macro variables. The fourth is we can create macro variables in proc SQL using into statement. Fifth is by using calls input routine and calls input x routine. Sixth is using percent do loop and seventh is by passing parameters in macros. So some of the topics we will cover in this video and some of the topics I will create in upcoming videos. So let's move on to the next question. What is the difference between calls input and calls input X routine? So both the routines are used to create macro variables, but the difference is that calls input X routine is the latest and it additionally removes leading and trailing blanks from the variables. The value that is assigned, it will remove the leading and trailing blanks. Let's see the example. So in the first screenshot, uh, the example is for calls input. In this, we are creating a data set bonus. We are creating two variables, employee underscore count and assigning value 5000 and bonus received variable. We are assigning value 100. Then we are creating two macro variables, EC and BR using calls input routine. So when we run this, this will create a bonus data set as well as two macro variables, EC and BR. So when we do proc print data equal bonus, and we are showing or assigning footnote to the page and the message bonus received then the value of bonus received the macro variable ampersand br out of ec that is employee count ampersand ec employee count macro variable and the value is displayed at the bottom so if you see the output the observation is one employee count equal 5000 bonus received equal 100 but the message at the end we set footnote now if you read it it shows bonus received then there is a space leading space that is 100 after that 100 out of then we have leading space and the value is 5000 so by using all input it adds leading and trailing blanks in the macro variable if we do not want leading and trailing blanks in the macro variable we can remove it by using call input x so the screenshot on the right, it is exactly the same program, but only thing what we have changed is instead of calls input, we are using calls input X here. And if we see the result output at the bottom, we can see that now the message is showing bonus received 100 out of 500. So you can see clearly that leading blanks are removed by just using calls input X. There are other ways also uh, to remove the leading and trailing blanks. So, the, so they, these are functions. Generally, we call it trim function or strip function. So on those functions, I'll create a video later on. To write a program to print all the macro variables in SAS log. Sometimes we want to understand what all macro variables uh, we have created, what all global macros are present, what all user defined macro variables are present in the session. So what we can do is we can print those macro variables. How do we do that? Let's see the answer. To print macro variables, we can use percent put statement and we can use various ways to print it. So if you want to print all the macro variables, you need to use percent put underscore all underscore. However, if you want to print only user defined that you have created, then you can use percent put underscore user underscore or 
if you want to print only global macro then you can use percent put underscore global underscore or similar way you can use you can print local also underscore local underscore so the local macro variables you can print in sas log i hope this is clear let's move on to the next question what would be the value of variable z in sas log and y so in this uh, screenshot you can see that we are creating three macro variables here percent let x and we are assigning value 10 percent let y and we are assigning value 20 10 percent let z and we are assigning value of m percent x plus m percent y and then we are printing the value of z using percent put so percent put prints the value in sas log okay so what would be the value of percent let z what will assign in z so to understand this let's see the answer so sas variable treats stored values as character so we all know that uh, whatever value we are assigning sas macro variables sas treats it as character or string values so in this case there is no addition operation done and value of z is showing 10 plus 20 as a string so the macro variable x and y so the value of x would result as 10 and value of y is resolved as 20 so it will not do any addition or mathematical operation it will just print the value as it is that is 10 plus 20 so it will print the value something like that if we see this in sas log so you can see it will print 10 plus 20 but what if you want to do a mathematical operation you want a value that it should resolve to 10 plus 20 equal 30 so to do this there is a function macro function you can use it that is percent eval so in the next screenshot you can see that the program is same only what we have done in put statement we just use percent eval and m percent z so now we are saying says macro processor to evaluate the value of z this plus operator will do the mathematical operations when we use percent eval macro function now you can see the value in log so this is sas log and you see that the value of z is now showing as 30 sas eval function will work only on integer values so there is no fraction or decimal values uh, addition or subtraction would happen using percent eval function so to do the decimal addition or subtraction we need to use one more function that is called percent sys eval f in this example if you see x has the value 3.5 y has the value 6.5 and we are doing the addition and we are using percent sys eval f and percent z so now you can see that the value of z is showing 10 so to perform any mathematical operation on decimal or fractional values we use percent is eval f function so guys these two functions are very important and most of the time if somebody is going to ask questions on macro then e percent eval and percent is eval f 95 percent this question will be asked what would be the value of variable x inside macro and outside macro definition in below program and why okay so we have a program so what we are doing in this program we are creating a macro variable x and we are assigning value 10 then we are creating a macro name check value and we are again creating a macro variable x equal 20 then we are using put statement to print the value of x in the log and message we are putting is x inside macro then end of the macro and we are calling the macro after that we are again printing the value of macro variable using percent put statement in sas log so in this question what we want to understand what would be the value of x inside by calling the value inside the macro and outside the macro so when we run this macro what would be the value let's see the answer so if you see the log the value inside macro is showing 20 and value outside macro for x variable is showing 20 so in the both the cases the value is 20 okay you may be confused here why this happened because we are assigning value 20 inside but outside it is 10 so how this is happening 
to understand this we need to understand the symbol tables so sas has two symbol tables one is global symbol table second is local symbol table so global symbol table contains all the global macro variables and it gets created when you start or start the sas session so all the system related macro variables these are created and goes into a global symbol table however local symbol table is gets created inside the macro so here if we understand this program so the first variable the x equal 10 this variable we are creating outside the macro that means this variable will get created in global symbol table but if we go this way here in this section we are creating macro variable x and assigning value 20 so here if you can see that uh, there is no other macro variables are created earlier and there is no local symbol table is present the precedence to create the macro variable is first macro variable is created in when we ask a macro processor to create a macro variable it checks if that particular macro variable is present in local symbol table if that is not present in local symbol table then it will go and check if that particular macro variable is present in global symbol table so in that case if you see percent let x this macro variable as there is no local symbol table present because there is no other macro variables already created so it will check first local symbol table local symbol table is not present so that's why this macro processor will go and check if this macro variable is present in global symbol table so it will check yes this uh, macro variable is present in global symbol table so instead of creating a new macro variable in local symbol table it will create the macro variable in global symbol table that's why the value of x is overwritten in global symbol table so now the value is 20 outside as well as inside so it doesn't really matter if we access inside or outside it will always gives the value or it will always refer to the global symbol table in this case okay here is the explanation if you want to understand it you can read it i already explained this i hope this is clear this is little tricky but this should be clear now Okay. so if we check the list of the macro variables in global variable list you can see that the value of x is 20 in global symbol table okay let's understand a bit about this this time we do not have any global variable named as x you can see that in the first screenshot here we are not using percent let uh, at the top here so variable x inside the macro will get created into local symbol table so do not get confused because i have already deleted the global uh, macro variable that has been created in previous slide you will learn how to delete the macro variable in next question so here you can see uh, there is no macro variable present in global symbol table so here in macro the program is exactly same and we are accessing inside and outside value of macro variable x so now we are creating a macro variable x is 20 assigning value as 20 and we are printing the value in log so this time macro processor will go and check if x variable is present into global symbol table but this variable is not present in global symbol table that's why macro processor will create this macro variable in local symbol table because this variable is not present in global symbol table so if we access this by running the macro and then printing this two times so let's see what is happening in sas log so you can see the value of x inside macro is showing 20 however the value of x outside macro variable is not resolved and we are seeing warning as you know outside a macro we can only print macro variables that are global but in this case the macro variable x is local because that variable is not present outside of the macro so that's why the value of x is not resolved and it is giving us warning global variable list you can see that there is no x variable present in the global symbol table i hope this is clear now if you have any doubt you can mention in the comment and i can create another video specifically on local and global symbol tables
let's move on to the next question how can you remove a macro variable so we have removed macro variable in previous question so i thought to include this question how to remove this so the answer is you can use percent simdel statement so it is simple you just mention percent simdel and the name of the macro variable okay when you mention the name of the macro variable do not put m percent sign i hope uh, this is clear guys so there are lot many questions left on macro but in this session these are the questions i have covered i will create more videos to cover all the macro questions all right guys so that's it uh, in this uh, video and i would say please subscribe the channel like it and share it so that you will get the latest video quickly and i will try to make sure that all the questions that can be asked on macro or macro variables macro functions or other macro functionalities that should be covered so that when you go for interview you don't feel like you haven't heard about this question or this topic so till then bye and take care